guys, welcome to the next in our series of mirror swimming videos. Today we're going to be focusing on butterfly. Now before we start, remember there are three areas that you've got to focus on whenever we're doing any demonstrations or mirror swimming exercises. So number one is that you've got to take your time. Take your time, make sure that you get the technique right. Number two is that you've got to stay relaxed and that's especially important for butterfly. There's the strokes about, the strokes about rhythm and flow. You've got to stay relaxed while you're doing the whole movement. Number three is repetition. All right, doing the repetition or doing the exercise over and over again with the right technique to make sure that it's ingrained in the right way. So we're going to start off with some demonstrations. All right, I have some demonstrations on land on butterfly. Then we're going to focus on a few of the common mistakes that people make when doing butterfly and then finishing off with a few exercises that they can do uh, at home, especially during this time. Um, with the uh, with the shutdown to help improve their butterfly for when they get back in the pool. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is make sure that our hands are in line with our shoulders, thinking about where we would enter normally on butterfly. A lot of swimmers tend to enter a little bit too wide or they enter too close together. You've got to start with your hands in line with your shoulders, and your fingertips pressing just slightly down but forwards at the same time. Now the first part of the movement on butterfly is actually a press slightly outwards into your catch position, but also down with your elbows high. A lot of swimmers will tend to have a press straight down or go out too wide and then have to sweep back in again. So the first movement, we're pressing out and down, fingertips pointing downwards at this point with our elbows high. And then from there, you press back in towards your hips and then back past your hips, coming out of the water with your little finger first, staying nice and relaxed and really long over the top of the water and entering again with your hands in line with your hips. Now it's important as well on butterfly that your head stays in line with your spine. It's quite hard to demonstrate in this position, all right, but you do want to try and keep your head as low as possible. All right, you don't want to be looking forwards. So watch again, this time with your head down, so starting with hands in line with your shoulders, you pressing outwards into your catch position and down into your high elbow, fingertips pointing down, hands come in towards your hips, then come out, little finger first, recover, and then enter in line with your shoulders. Now when you're recovering your hands as well, when you're bringing your hands out and you're coming out, you don't want to lock out completely. You want to make sure that your elbows are just ever so slightly bent. You're coming out little finger first and that the back of your hand is coming forwards first. All right, so it's an easy, relaxed recovery. I'm just going to demonstrate from the side. All right, so here, arms in line with your shoulders again. All right, head down and then you start and you press out and down, back in towards your hips, out little finger, back of the hand forwards first, and then you enter in line with your shoulder again. Once again, all right, head down, and then you start and you press out and down, back in towards your hips, out little finger, back of the hand forwards first, and then you enter in line with your shoulder again. Okay, so finally we're going to talk about a few common mistakes that swimmers often make with butterfly. Now the two reasons why there usually are mistakes on flight, one is because of the timing of the stroke, which we can't really demonstrate on land, but number two is because of the mobility issues within the swimmer. So the first common mistake I mentioned before is the hand entry either being too wide or coming too far over. Now usually this is a lack of mobility through your shoulders or your lats. So I'm just going to go through a few exercises now that will help with that. So the first one, I'm going to tilt the screen downwards so you can see. So the first one is going to be just an internal shoulder rotation. So you're going to lie flat on your back with your arms at 90 degrees in line with your shoulders. And you're just going to rotate forwards as far as you can and then back. 
Okay, and just doing around about 10 to 12 of these. And you can do these either with a band or with a weight as well. If you find this relatively easy, the idea is you just try and sit, increase that range of motion through your shoulders. The second one, you can lie flat on the floor. So head down, arms by your side. All right, we're going to call this Floor Angels because it looks a little bit like an angel. All right, basically you're going to be doing a butterfly stroke with your head down and you're going to just lift your arms up, bring your arm over the top, back of hand first, and just focus on entering with your hands in line with your shoulders. And then back again, and there. You can lift up. Simulating the butterfly stroke, little finger first, coming forwards, back of hands, and entering in line with your shoulders. Now that's a good movement because you're not using the whole of your body to move your arms. All you're doing is using your shoulders and just using that mobility to lift up and lift down. So. The next common mistake or the next common area that swimmers have issues with is to do with their body and their body dolphin. So that's usually because of the lack of mobility either through their back or their hips, possibly even the hamstrings. So we're just going to do a really simple exercise to start with. All right, helps with lat mobility through here. All right, this also helps with your hand entry as well. So you can use a wall for this or you can use a chair, I'm going to use the sofa. All right, we'll just start with hands on the sofa, in line with your shoulders again, into a tabletop position. And all you're going to do is press down as low as you can with your chest, and then back up again. All right, as low as you can down on your chest, and then back up. And if you have a look at this, on any butterfly swimmer, when they enter the water, sorry, when their hands enter the water, this is the position that they end up going down into. The chest presses, the head should stay in line with the chest, and their hands will stay on the surface ready to get into the catch position. And that press of the chest allows you to engage your lats, this muscle down here, to start the pull and start the catch. And then final one, we're just going to work on your back mobility. All right, you might have heard this called happy cat to side cat. So you're going to start again, tabletop position. All you're going to do is look up and increase the stretch in your back. And then look down and curl up. And then repeat. So your head looks up as your back curls down, and as your back curls up, you will come back. So, let's move the screen. <laughs> so, hopefully that's helped you understand us fly a little bit more. We're going to be sending out some sets, including some mobility sets that will help you with your butterfly for when you get back in the water.